We use the current system to look at running biomechanics and energetics. For example, for running biomechanics, we use the current system to validate wearable sensors, such as instrumented insoles by Arion, which are placed in the shoe with an accelerometer clip to the side of the shoe. We simultaneously record the insole data with an application on the phone and 3D running kinematics and ground reaction forces so we can validate the wearable output against the current system. We also look at the correlation between how people run and how much energy they use. And we do this by combining the current system with an indirect calorimeter developed here at university. This allows us to measure the amount of inhaled oxygen and expired carbon dioxide, which we can use to determine the energetic cost of running. Since we also collect 3D kinematics, we can investigate if there is an optimal way to run to minimize the amount of energy we use and thereby optimize performance. And we can use the current system to look at specific internal loads, for example, how much force or damage does the Achilles tendon experience. We do this by using the biomechanical data as input to a musculoskeletal model. With this model we can estimate the forces that individual muscles produce and the resulting forces and damage at specific tissues. Since we also have wearable data collected at the same time, we can train a neural network to estimate the forces and damage at specific tissues and this information can in turn be used to provide feedback for people run outside to reduce injury risk. Marker placement, especially for a full body model, can take a lot of time. This also limits this method to research facilities. Therefore, we also use the 2D video data from the cameras placed sideways and back of the participant for markerless motion capture. We have trained our own neural network to automatically detect body landmarks and preliminary data indicate that this performs very well compared to the gold standard current system with marker-based data collection. Nevertheless, we aim to even further improve this method, for example, using depth information. Finally, we also measure muscle activation so we can better understand the way by which muscles cooperate to produce movement. In the end, we hope all these efforts can help us to reduce injury risk and improve the performance of both recreational runners as well as top athletes.